Yo, what's up, guys? It's Pi goes here, the Crypto Pi, and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, guys, because Bitcoin will indicate what the market is doing, and we just got ourselves a new daily candle. So let's take a look at that first before anything else. And so we had this big daily candle, right? The red one. Then we had a small green one. Now we're gonna get like so it's only a small green one guys that's not very bullish that's not very good to see um, unless we're just gonna consolidate here on the bottom um, definitely keep that 6,000 in 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 watch guys if we go below 6,000 it's a good possibility we will fall further all right so um, that's taking a look at the daily so if we zoom in a little bit and we go on to the six hour here we can see that we had this massive candle almost up to the 38.2 basically from the Fibonacci from the top to the bottom and it's a massive upside down hammer right shooting star it's called it's a shooting star candle um, this indicates bearish right so when the wick is to the upside a shooting star like this that's very bearish right so um, watch out for that guys right this might break and we could go for another lag down um, is it already time for that? I, I mean, I cannot see it on the RSI, but the RSI can drop lower than you think, right? So, um, if we just keep that in mind, guys, the whole bear flag scenario. So, what, what I like to do here is we're just going to simply create another uh, line here, right? Probably like that. It's not that steep. I mean, that one is a little bit off. Something like that, right? I mean, and I mean, we might just make new bear flags, guys, and that's not good to see, right? I don't want that many lines on my chart, so I'm definitely removing it. But oh man, guys, it's just not looking good. Um, I wanted to see us getting above that 38.2, right? Because that's also where the 55 EMA is on the one hour, and we got rejected there. I was in a little trade on Binance, I told the people in Telegram. And then when I saw that that um, shooting star forming, I told people like, you know, uh, it, this is a bad sign. So I, I got out and I mean, I took a little profit. What was it like maybe 60 or $70? Um, even though I intended to make like 600, right? Or yeah, $600. But it's simply Bitcoin didn't want to go further. So Binance also fell, right? And uh, that's just how we have to play guys. And always have your stop in place. Um, in, in case you're not there, right? Let's say you go to sleep, you have your stop in place, you get stopped out, you have a loss that you're okay with. Um, so, yeah, that, that is kind of what I did, you know, on, on Binance. So, I'll, I'll show you the trade that I was in. So, basically, I got in here, up here, right? Um, and I had my stop under here. But then, we went up here, I didn't sell, like, a, a very foolish. Then we went down again, and I sold somewhere here, right? Because... Um, because I just already saw, since there was only like 30 minutes left on the candle, four hour candle, still risky to take profits, but it's still profits, right? So I had to take, I took my profits because um, that was just most likely gonna end up in a, a very bearish wick to the upside. And that's what we see here. And then obviously right now it's falling. So I hope you guys are not in there anymore. Um, it's definitely on this trend line again, but can it hold? That all depends on Bitcoin, right? So. Moving on back to Bitcoin, guys, um, it's just making little bear flags, right? So, and I want to show you the case where this happened before. So, when you had this run up all the way to 70, uh, nearly 7,800, we had this bear flag, right? Then we fell down, we paused here, we made a tiny, uh, a small bear flag, and then we went further. Now, in order to calculate how far down you go, um, it's very simple, right? So, uh, you go here. And you just take either a price range or a date range, doesn't really matter. Um, and you simply take it from the top, or you can use a line as well. It doesn't doesn't matter honestly. So you just take this right, and then you can either copy and paste it, or you just project that down. Um, now we didn't exactly go that far down, but um, that is something that could happen if you get a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, it doesn't like always happen luckily um, you know what's all also really good is just take a Fibonacci from this top and then you take this bottom and then you you kind of target this negative 236 which was kind of the bottom here right it was kind of the bottom I mean it fell lower 
I I see that, but um, it did bottom out around the two negative two three six around sixty three hundred. So um, right now, if you would do that again, guys, if we just so we have this already, right? We have it from the top to this bottom here. Um, if this was our first way down, the negative two three six is around fifty seven hundred dollars. Now, do we see any support here? Um, I, I would need to check, right? So if you look on six hour. And we take that 5700 and we're gonna plot a line down here um, so next here and we'll make that a, a different color so we can see it easily right let's just make it light blue and uh, let's take a look in the chart if we can find that line somewhere so it's lining up with the, the support here with this very crazy wick down here right um, so it's very possible that we gonna hit this 5700 area and then if you have one even further down which is around negative 618 and you also have a huge support here at 5300 so if we fall down we can definitely fall down all the way to there so just keep that in mind guys um, don't be freaking out um, you know it's just how the market is uh, will we do that it only happens guys if you make a new low now will I count the new low when we're below this wick well yeah you kind of have to but the 6000 is definitely an area you want to hold though if you don't hold this chances are you will fall further because we already tested it once we went back up and uh, right now we're still above it but we'll have to see how it goes right so looking at the four hour you kind of see the same thing a uh, shooting star here so I mean it's kind of bearish signs guys you know I, I definitely didn't want to see this I didn't want to see a bear flag for me because that is what this is right this is a bear flag for me what I wanted to see is either like that we went down and then up again and then down for a double bottom that's bullish right uh, or simply going down and then consolidate that would be fine as well but what we have right now is going down and then bear flagging up and then perhaps going down again that is not what I wanted to see so I'm not very bullish on this what I see right now right and uh, I warned you guys before uh, for this bear flag right here right I told you guys uh, in a video if you go a few videos back I my video was titled a bear flag is forming and um, you know uh, it happened guys we fell down so uh, keep that in mind mini bear flags also form and then you go further down right um, also what's kind of weird is we this if this is only wave one um, you know you also go down in five waves guys right I mean if we take a look at previous history right so one two three four and then five right so what if this is like only I mean you you, you, you would technically only have this you only have one and two and then you still get a three and you get a four and a five right so um, and we're just gonna take a look at that very basic concept of it right now and so basically we're just gonna take this this top here and if we take this as a one and then a two and then a, the, maybe maybe around here three and then four and then you get a five um, it's it's all in the books guys right it's all in the book so I'm definitely not predicting that um, it, it's just it, it's early wave but um, it, it's a roadmap it's a potential roadmap right so just keep that in mind now when do I take action well if we actually fall through right if we break a uh, the, the bear flag if we break the bear flag then then it's that, that's bad right if we break it to the downside then we're obviously gonna fall so right now guys just patiently waiting uh, if it goes below 6k I might open a short right um, simply because you can make money on the short side then guys and uh, make some money and if it gets back up here same case guys if it just starts consolidating you can put your stop above here and just have the short open and perhaps you you make some money um, on the downside right now your risk reward is actually pretty good um, so guys uh, you can go to short position here right it's down here uh, let's say you open it right now right even though it's not, not the, the, the right actually like the very right decision to do but let's say you do and then you target this negative 236 which gives you a 2.53 risk reward 
it's not too bad um, uh, but I'd like to get a little bit more conf uh, confirmation than just one of these bearish candles right we had a few here as well like one two you know and then you had this big wick as well even though that was a bullish one right but a little bit of bearish wick at the end because um, it simply didn't close super bullish I mean it is still really bullish behavior though but this is a bearish one this bearish one I mean these wicks are so telling so this is definitely a telling wick but does that mean that we won't go there again I mean uh, we'll have to see guys but um, I, I'm definitely not taking a position right now I, I, I don't want to risk 2.86 percent okay but it's not a bad risk reward but let's say we get up here again then you have a very low risk right so now you're looking at a 4.48 uh, even higher because you're negative. so you're looking at a 5.17 then it gets better right so it all depends where you can open your short obviously um, but yeah guys I mean that's definitely something I'm looking at right so it's just a, a little update on Bitcoin guys so I'm saying we're forming a small bear flag all right does that mean we go immediately no um, is there a potential? Yes, because this, in my opinion, is a one wave, a two, and then we're still going to get the three wave and then the, the four and the five. Now, does the three need to be uh, the longest? No, it doesn't. Uh, it can definitely be shorter, but then the five needs to be shorter, right? Because the the three cannot be the shortest. So, but what you could be potentially looking at, like, once again, guys, one, two, three, four, and then you, you get a a little five right maybe maybe only till here so that is what you could be looking at guys all right so yeah that's pretty much it you know for this video just a quick update on Bitcoin and uh, what I'm seeing so I'm seeing a small bear flag forming that does not mean that it cannot be a double bottom so I'm definitely watching that 6k area right how does it close if it closes below if it closes below guys that tells me short okay um, even though uh, the RSI is like this, uh, I would still go short because uh, that panic can just make you some money. All right, so it's simple as that. Also, guys, if you're not in my Telegram yet, join up with the Crypto Pies blog where you can ask me any question, ask other people questions. It's just a great chat box to be in, right? So join up with that. Um, we were talking today all day, um, you know, about the trade we were taking, about risk management, about uh, RSI you know uh, what was John saying looking at the four and six hour RSI also helps yeah when taking the overall picture so we're talking about trading all day guys definitely join up it's a great chat box also guys join up with the crypto Pies feed where I post all my videos post about upcoming ICOs when I find one I'll tell you guys when to whitelist uh, you know uh, because if you're whitelisted you can participate right if you're not whitelisted you cannot participate so I'm still on the lookout for good ICOs even though we're this bearish because I still believe we can flip it easily right uh, but that's all it is right now guys it's flipping and then getting out right do not try to hold for the long term because of the simple fact that when you're going down that coin will most likely go down as well right so if you're interested in it for the long term then pick it up lower right just in the initial hype when it comes on exchange you can flip it uh, that's most likely the case right so um, yeah especially with projects that I'm looking at because I'm only looking at projects with low market cap good team uh, MVP so minimum viable product and uh, yeah just a good fish and overall as well so yeah that's pretty much what I'm looking at guys so yeah both telegrams are in the description below and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe hit that post notification button and if you've got any questions at all leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next video